Hi guys, it's Marie here again from Marie's Acrylic and Gel Nails here in the beautiful suburb of Gracemere in Rockhampton. Now, I've heard some crappy crap about my competition that I'm doing and I went, you know what, I'm sitting here, I'm all by myself, I'm alone, let's bag what I've got up already um, and let's re-show everybody what they're getting and I, I am proud to say that no one who has joined the competition is saying this stuff but you know what I think some of it is jealousy because um, I am giving so much away um, and some of the stuff that has come back with that saying I'm buying my friends and rah 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 well guys that's really not the case the case is I've really had a very shitty two months and I needed something to cheer myself up and I thought what better way than to share the love and the wealth and is to have a competition and that's exactly what I did and I did it I am so happy when I'm reading your guys your comments and that you're liking the questions that I'm throwing out there and you're liking them about Australia and stuff. that makes me so happy and it's making me want to keep doing it so to the negative Nellies out there who want to cause trouble um, when you see the video you I've got two words for you and they're not very nice so I'll just beep beep them to you so I've got my little box just sitting here next to me with stuff bagged up. So, so far this is all first places nail art. 90% of it is alloy but there are um, some pieces like this and it's just a big bag of them. Um, but then there's some resin skulls. There's some of these in there. So, and there's some of these horse eyes, and there's some strawberries, and there's some of those um, iced ones. And there's some tiny um, strawberries, some more ones with hearts, and they've got flowers in them. Some more of the iced ones. There's another one. So I'm going to get all the resin pieces out of the way right now. So what else is there? There's these ones. Okay. Oh, and there's um, little butterflies. And again, this is first place, guys. So the others, oh, well, I'm not going to go through it. It's, you know, it goes down in size you know as it goes okay so that's that so then there's that ear cuffed for first place I've chucked in there okay so then there are some butterfly and rhine butter rhine stone butterflies and just some rhinestones in that bag and there's some little rhinestones and stuff in that bag I'm not going to count that too much because well I can count it I can go two four six eight ten twelve fourteen pieces are in that bag I think I may have double counted fourteen so that's um, sixteen eighteen 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, because they had all the Tinkerbells, 31, that's the swans, 32, 34, the lips and the lipsticks, 36, 37, um, they're just more bows, so I won't count them, but they're resin bows. It was up to 38, so that's 30, uh, 40, because I think I said 37. Um, 40, 
to, oh, sorry, 41. 42, 43, with little Santa hats and candy canes. Um, 44, 45, there's two different types of um, nail art, uh, L out and that. 46, 47, 48, they're just um, breast cancer bows. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So, and like I said, that's not including all those other little resin pieces and stuff that I put in there and then I'm not going to count all these but there is a huge big coloured bag of chain so that's just part A of number one then as you all know there's this, this big baggie full of goodies and different stuff nail art stuff related so there's that and then the second part is these resin pieces there's um some more resin pieces there's these really large big pieces that i've just bagged up and then there's a whole heap of these small ones and just they've got absolutely every color every shape bells and whistles so that's first place I'll put that all back in there. I'm not going to pull out the others like I just did then, but I will pull them out. And now the only thing that's not in there yet are these pearls. They're not in there yet. So there's an, um, all the nail art, um, alloy and little other bits and pieces in there. There's a uh, large... I'll turn it around and the small resin pieces and then there's the little gift bag from myself so that is second place um so guys i just want to move this stuff out of the way still keep it in order so then third place resin pieces large and small bag of nail art and then bag of goodies and you can see that it's gradually going down in size um not by a lot but it is you know first place and second place are a lot bigger prices than third fourth and fifth i just did it because i could so there's the fourth place um, gift bag of nail art. There's the fourth place little baggie of um, nail art. And there's the resin pieces, large and small. And then we have fifth place, that's their bag of art. And yes, it is considerably smaller. Resin pieces and goodies bag okay and i'll probably just get all of that into the one bag but okay so that's the prizes except for those um big then i have and i said to you and i kept them out because i have two different ways i'm going to do this if you win first place and you have completed all the tasks, you're a subscriber to me, you've commented on one of my videos, you're a subscriber to Rita um, and, you, and you've commented and shared on her videos and you've sent Rita and I both something and you've, you've um, participated in the competitions, 
I'm going to put a little baggie of these acrylic little beads. Now the paper on the back of it is the picture, so don't take them off. Um, but so there's one here, there's a bag each from first place all the way down to fifth place, all set, ready to go. If you do all of that, and then Ruthie Santana contacts me and says to me, you know what, this person um, also has bought some of my product, whether it's nail art bags, her glitter mixes, her acrylic mixes, whatever it is, I've got these two bigger bags, okay, and there is a huge difference between that one and that one, okay, so if you complete absolutely everything, you send me something, read us something, you've done everything, plus you've bought something of Ruthie's, I will send you these, one of these two bigger bags full of it, plus whatever I've set aside for first place, second place, third place, okay? So depending on your task, like if you've just done the first part, like I explained, you'll get a little one of these. But if you've done absolutely everything, including buying off of Ruthie, you will get a bigger one and um, there's probably about 15, 20 pieces in that bag and that one would be a little bit less for that second place but then I've also, these bags have only got um, 8 to 10 in them so they've got to be added into first and second place with that, okay, so that's the deal with them, they were the special little thing, because I haven't seen people with them, and using them as nail art, so, okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory, so guys, um, that's the box it all sits in, okay, and I'll just move it out of the way for a second. I can see you've all been busy with the first set of questions, but seeing I've had to do that, this video, um, I'm going to ask you a quick question. Okay, back in 1982, um, the population of a certain particular Australian animal was becoming endangered. So they came up with an idea to raise money to help this animal out by making um, a chocolate of it at Easter time. And um, yeah, we have chocolate Easter eggs and we have chocolate bunnies, but we have one particular animal that um, Cadbury and Darley make and any money they raise from selling this particular animal goes to helping them. Now I want to know what this animal is and just a quick little blurb about it um, and like not even, you know, just a description. So I know you guys have gone and checked it out and you understand what they are because they are an amazing, amazing little creature. And I think personally they are really, really cute. So um, this one is going to be like the last one. Everybody who goes and checks it out will get five points. Okay, so you go check it out. You get it, the answer right. I'll award you five points. Okay, so go for it, guys. I want to know... At Easter time, what is the endangered Australian animal that they make like an Easter bunny or an Easter egg? So get cracking, go have a look. And until the next time, stay safe. And I hope you're enjoying how these bags are looking and how much is in them. And I am so excited. I can't wait to post this out to you guys. And I can't wait to see the winners' videos on when they get it and see it. It's just huge. Bye, guys.